Hey guys, today we're going to talk about Snug Pack Jungle Hammock with Mosquito Net that I picked up on Amazon.com. I'm going to do a quick setup, show you how it looks all set up, maybe go, go through a little bit on how it uh, performs. But this includes a Mosquito Net all in one, a Jungle Pack Hammock with Mosquito Net on this episode of the Texan Camper. <sighs> Inside of this snug pack comes the entire unit inside of its own personal stuff sack. You do get some guy lines. You do get some webbing. We're not going to use those. Then you can see here is the integrated mosquito net and it all pulls right out of its own stuff sack. Looks like we've got uh, two really good carabiners. Test those out, see how well they hold up. See that there, that there. So we're going to go ahead and string them between two trees. I'm going to get this rigged up and see how well it sets up. Now the first thing I'm going to do, since I don't use any kind of tree straps, is I'm going to use some of this rope here to establish a point right here to where we're going to secure the hammock to. So let me show you how I do that. I want this to be roughly chest high. We're going to take our two loose ends here. This is about a 10 foot piece of rope. We're going to wrap it around the tree. bring it back through itself and you can see I've got a tight point here then we're going to take and do an overhand knot but we're not going to pull the knot all the way through we're going to create a little bite so you can see there and then right here is where I'm going to hook that first point. We're going to take the carabiner in and we're not going to hook it in the loop but we're going to hook it just behind the knot so it doesn't cinch up on us. This is a really easy knot to get undone. Just like so. So let's go do the other side now. Now I wanted to, to point out that the snug pack comes with not paracord, it's just a nylon piece of rope. Probably doesn't support more than this is probably for the bug net. I might use it but I just wanted you to know it comes with it. This is probably about 20 feet worth of paracord. We're going to do the same thing with our other piece of rope. Secure it to the tree with the same knot. Keeping both our ends together, staying at chest level. We're going to bring this knot back. Now that we've got our knot established here, going to go ahead and hook it back in. Now you can see we've created our basic straps and this rope does not stretch so let's begin tying up the uh, mosquito net. Alright guys before I set up the mosquito net I just want you to see that the mosquito net I have underneath it by flipping the hammock you can actually sit in it without having to set up the mosquito net. Let me show you how that looks. in the, uh, the hammock without actually having the uh, mosquito net up. Just flip it over and that's how that works. Now, like I said, the uh, hammock does come with um, some rope for the mosquito net, but I'm going to use some bank line because it's thinner, lighter, easier to work with, and I think this is going to be long enough between these two trees that I'm using, so I'm going to use this to string up the, uh, the uh, mosquito net instead of what actually came with the unit. So what I'm basically doing is creating a single ridge line point, like a loop, to go all the way around the tree. Then I'm going to come back, tie it up off over here. 
So I'm basically going to bring this through that loop I originally made that was kind of held in place while I ran around the trees. Kind of like a trucker's hitch. I'm going to pull it nice and tight, not too tight, and then just come back in with a simple slip knot here. Cure that, that hole and then just kind of make my adjustments. But let me show you how it looks that I did this this way. So you can see I started here and just kind of brought it all the way through like a big loop. See how it's secured and now these kind of stay close but you can probably envision yourself putting like maybe a stick stick in between here to kind of help space them out a little bit but for the most part it's pretty nice let's do a little let's do a little test and see how I can sit in this thing because I've never really used a mosquito net hammock so this is going to be my first time so if, if I catch something on camera of destroying this thing I'll put it I'll keep it in the video but let's get this oral we have success. Not bad. All the mosquitoes are out. Not too bad. Let's see if I can get out. Oh. Hammocks aren't too bad. They're relaxing. This one's not too bad. But getting in with that mosquito net is pretty annoying. But if there's mosquitoes out, you're out there camping, it doesn't hurt. So let's do a little walk around and uh, let me show you the up close of this little mosquito net that I picked up on Amazon. And I'll go over the pricing with you and a couple of the specs. All right, so let's get up and close here. You can see there's kind of a perspective here of the mosquito net. And like I said, it was a little difficult getting into, but that's only because I've never used one before. So I look a little clumsy doing it. but. You do have a dual zipper. What I mean by that is that you've got uh, two zippers, one on the inside and one on the outside here. I can get it out. So what you've got here is you basically have two zippers, so you can close it from the inside as well as the outside. You do have a stuff sack that is attached to the hammock, but you can also use to hold your gear into it. And then you also have a little net here to keep maybe a phone or light or something in there and then uh, you can see it continues on up to where this first knot was at. Now the measurements on this hammock are supposed to be like nine feet but I don't think it's that long. I guess that's from the rope tip to the rope tip but the hammock itself can probably accept up to maybe a six foot person at best maybe not bigger than that. You might want to get a bigger ten foot or something like that but I think this is at least seven feet worth of layable space. I think the nine feet was counting all the rope, but let's get a further back perspective. Now this hammock doesn't really state the materials that it's made out of, and it did come from China, and the company is called Snug Pack Jungle Hammock with Mosquito Net. Now going over the pricing of this hammock is $25. Now the link in the description box will take you to the Amazon website where it'll say $48. Don't don't be too concerned about that. The reason why I say $25 is because every time I've gone to the Amazon and clicked on this product, it seems to be dropping in price, fluctuating maybe once or twice a week. I don't know how they're doing it algorithm-wise, but it drops to $25 with free shipping. Not that free shipping with $49 or more, no, free shipping. So I kept clicking, it would change to $25, back to $48, and then one day it was on $25, had a little extra cash, and boom, I pulled the trigger and I ordered it. So if you just wait a little bit, keep clicking and refreshing every other day, and checking I think it might go back down to $25 but as of this video or this upload this hammock is showing like 48 bucks when you click the link below but don't let that discourage you keep clicking 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 every other day and see if it goes to 25 bucks it may not I don't know why but for about a month it kept going between 25 bucks and 49 bucks so I think for 25 bucks with the mosquito net that's not bad at all I mean seriously this looks like it's pretty well constructed the rope system here seems good the carabiners are nice solid carabiners uh, the stitching is triple stitched um, so I think it'll hold up but I only weigh like 180 pounds I'm not a very heavy dude but uh, it wasn't too difficult to set up for my first time here's the other end of it so I'm gonna wrap this video up because I'm not gonna get too long it's just a hammock with a mosquito net I just wanted to show it off because it was only 25 bucks so anyways be sure to like subscribe leave a comment below if you have any information on this and until we meet again